USA Today Washington Bureau Chief Susan Page joins us now to talk about this and more. So, Susan, as we mentioned, this Russia story continues to cast a shadow over the Trump administration. I wonder if you think the White House's strategy uh, is working here. I, I think it's not. I think the Russia investigation, these daily, uh, almost daily revelations dominate the news cycle, make it very hard to focus on other things, on the health care bill, for instance, an infrastructure bill, a bill to, to cut taxes. And what the, this White House, I think, has not managed to do is something that previous White Houses has learned to do. In the Clinton White House during the Monica Lewinsky scandal, in the Reagan White House during the Iran-Contra affair, the president basically had followed two tracks. One, dealing with and responding to investigators, but a second track that was separate and very focused on the business of governing. And that is something that the Trump White House, at least so far, has been unable to master. So what do you think the president and the administration needs to do to turn the numbers around? Well, turning the numbers around, and that's a, that's going to be tough. He's been underwater. That is, more people disapprove of him than approve of him from the day he was inaugurated. And while his own supporters have generally held pretty firm with him, although 36 percent is down a bit and down from the 100 days mark, which was the last time we were kind of taking this temperature, he has never been able to expand his base of support. Now, you can, you can govern uh, in, in some ways with just that core, those core supporters, and that's prompted Republicans in Congress to pretty much stick with President Trump so far. But it makes it hard to pass a bill like health care, where you really ideally would like to see a little Democrats on your side as well. What about Republicans? Does all of the developments on Russia, do those make it more difficult for Republicans to support the president? Is there a sense you think that more Republican lawmakers may want to distance themselves from the Trump administration? You know, you do see Republican lawmakers being very cautious about defending the president and the Trump team when it comes to the Russia investigation because they just don't know what is going to come out tomorrow that surprises them. And one of the, I think, one of the most damaging things about the revelations over this past week, the emails that came out from Donald Trump Jr., is that the denials that the Trump team has been making for months and months turned out to be inaccurate. And that makes members of Congress and others reluctant about getting, walking that plank and saying, hey, you can trust the White House. You can believe them when they deny there's anything more to come. They just aren't certain about that. So, yes, that is a difficult situation to have when you want Republicans to both defend you on this issue and also to support you when it comes to health care or tax cuts. Yeah. On that point, I mean, is all of this uh, hurting the push, as you alluded to a moment ago, for health care reform, you think? It's so, it's so, health care is tough in the most ideal of circumstances. And you have a situation now where Democrats are united against whatever the Republicans want to do. Republicans are divided in ways that make it seem extraordinarily difficult for Mitch McConnell, who is a very skilled tactician, to get anything through the Senate. You know, you have him now holding off for, for uh, John McCain to come back from surgery in, in Phoenix before they move ahead. Well, John McCain hasn't said he supports this bill. John McCain hasn't said yet that he was support moving on a, supporting a motion to proceed, uh, that the, the uh, legislative language that would allow the debate to take place. So that just shows you how narrow the course is now for Mitch McConnell to try to get this bill through the Senate in some time in the next couple of weeks. So how do you think, Susan, this delay might affect the bill's chances in the Senate? I think it makes it tougher uh, because it gives more time for the opposition, critics of the bill, to make their case. Uh, it's a complicated bill. We're still just learning about details of the bill. The more autopsy there is of this bill, the more questions that are raised and the more difficult it may be to win over those final Senate votes. And, and explain for our viewers, Susan, uh, again, the difficulty here in getting Republicans on the same page. You have such fundamental differences here between the conservatives and the moderates. You know, the conservatives say, we promise to repeal the Affordable Care Act, let's repeal it. But moderates are saying, we expanded Medicaid in my state, in Ohio, in West Virginia, and in Nevada, and I don't want to take that health coverage away from my citizens, citizens in my state. That makes that, that circle is really, that square is very hard, that circle is very hard to square, I guess, to both protect uh, protections for people with pre-existing conditions or people who have newly been covered under Medicaid, and the conservative Republicans who want a really more full-fledged rollback to the system and health care that we had before the Affordable Care Act was passed. Yeah, it's hard to see how you reconcile those competing interests. Yeah. All right, Susan Page in Washington for us. Susan, thanks very much. Thank you, Elaine.